afraid I'm going to sound like a downer after Sandy there. I have a hard time going to, don't think I can quite match your enthusiasm. I don't quite feel the celebratory mood that some of the folks are sharing tonight. But it seems like we're completing book two of a trilogy here in the town of Caroline. Uh, book one was um, completed on election night. We all know what happened then. Um, book two is going to be completed when the board, I assume, votes in favor of this ban. And I don't know what's going to happen with book three. That's, that kind of remains to be seen. Um, somebody asked me out here tonight what I was going to talk about. And I said, well, when I figure it out, I'll let you know. Um, just a couple of random thoughts, a couple of comments, maybe. Um, um, the gentleman spoke earlier about uh, the coal train hauling it away there, the John Prine song. I remember that song. Um, that's interesting because uh, to the extent that gas is extracted, coal will not be. And I always thought that coal extraction was one of the rudest environmental things that could be done. But we're not hearing that now. Um, somebody talked about uh, balance and um, suggested that a ban is a way to find some balance. I thought that's what the moratorium was. but. A ban seems to be more extreme than a balanced approach to, you know, regulation and being careful. Um, but this has all been said before. Uh, one of the things that I'm starting to pick up on a little bit is I walk around and I talk to people and they talk to me. And, th and this isn't just people who have been on my side of the, of the camp, you know, the, you know, the pro-landowners, anti-fracking anti type folks, but even some folks who... I know didn't vote for me and um, who would rather not see drilling here, but they're starting to notice some of the inconsistency and some of the more extreme ideology that seems to be working its way out. The inconsistency being, um, you know, as um, Lincoln pointed out, you know, we all drive, we all use this stuff, but let's just not take it from here. Um, and the inconsistency of the folks who are crying about the windmills up in Lake Erie, I thought that was very telling. And the ideology, I always kind of suspected that there was much more of an ideological reason behind Rouse and a lot of the folks who were coming out opposed to the drilling and the fracking here in Caroline, and that um, to an extent the fears of pollution and truck noise and all that was, you know, kind of a stalking horse for that. And I think that that's becoming a little bit more evident now. And I hope that this town board is not being duped by that. I mean, if the concerns are genuinely that the town is going to be hurt, then it's a very um, legitimate thing for you guys to be taking it seriously and even acting upon it. But if you're being used to further some sort of an ideology that should be taking place at the state or the national level, and this sort of grassroots trying to infiltrate, and as the last speaker mentioned, gosh, now maybe we can go to some other towns and get it happening here, you know? Uh, just watch out that you're not being duped. And like I say, book three, We'll be out soon. I can't wait to read it.